to help us prepare for the Christmas and holiday eating season. Yes, it is an eating season. Don't lie to yourself. We know we have to buckle down when it comes to the holiday season. We're joined by Kim Gertler. She is a personal trainer and certified sports nutritionist. Welcome to the show, Kim. Thank you. Oh, great to have you here. here. And these are things, I, I think one of the one things you say before you even go out anywhere is plan ahead when it comes to, to the food you're going to consume. Yes. Right? Yes, because somebody said at some point, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that goes for everything. <laughs> true, true. Even hitting that next party. And what some people do that gosh, it's just not a great idea, is yeah. saving up those calories, is skipping that breakfast, skipping lunch, having just a leaf of salad and hitting the party. Then you get there and you have a glass of wine or schnapps or eggnog in your hand and you're walking the buffet line and you're seeing the chips and the, the, the quiches and the, everything looks so good and you start loading up and then you haven't even had dinner yet and yeah. you've already had a day's <laughs> worth of calories. That's so true. you need to plan ahead, you need That's to advice. eat before, drink water. And then have a look of what's available once you get there. What kind of treats are you going to be mm -hmm. having to choose from? And what kind of choices do you plan on making? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, how do you make the right choices? Because everything looks good, let's be honest. And then you're at somebody's house and you want to be polite and you want to yeah. try everything. You know, you want to be polite and you want to try everything, but you don't want to start the new season with excess weight because losing weight is not easy to do right so you get to the party you have a look first of all you've had a good snack before you got to the party you've had some fruits some nuts maybe a piece Protein. of toast peanut butter yeah. maybe even an egg right okay. so you're not yeah. getting that party full you decide that tonight's the night where i'm going to have one alcoholic beverage mm -hmm. not 10 and there's some nights where maybe if you're going to you know turn the yeah. town upside down <laughs> but Hopefully maybe not that exactly yes. not your work party uh, so then you plan ahead as to what kind of alcohol uh, consumption you're going to be dealing with. Right. And then you look at the food and then you see maybe you head up with a smaller plate. Mm. Or maybe you plan to take a larger plate but guarantee or tell yourself you're going to have a half plate of vegetables. Mm, uh, some salads. or uh, And also you're going to skip all the breads because you want to have some of those treats afterwards. And when sure. it's time for the treats you got to pace yourself, man. You'd be amazed as to how many calories oh, yeah. are oh, some of our favorite <laughs> holiday treats. <laughs> and then, again, like I said, you is don't want to... have any calories in shortbread? I'm joking. I know there is. <laughs> sure you don't want to know. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Hat two and leave it yeah, at that. Exactly. Uh, what do you have here? Yeah. Well, here, uh, what I was thinking is you are invited to many dinners, potlucks. Mm. Uh, and it, when you bring something to a potluck, you have a choice to make of bringing something healthy, something you know that you can fall back on. Should there be nothing else that you think uh, might appeal to you that much? And I'm celiac, so I'm always thinking of what I will be eating once I get oh, to a potluck, course. right? Yeah. So I thought uh, a massaged kale massaged. salad. Oh, I love it. Massaged yeah. kale okay. salad. So it's a family show, Jared. It yeah. is a family show. So I've already prepped the kale. It's yeah. already been ripped off the stalks. I don't okay. usually keep the stalks. Uh, my dog, Lucy, will eat the kale oh, stalks. Funny. She loves it. She sits by my... Lucy, the crying, kale eating dog. The yeah. kale eating dog. Uh, and you can also throw them in soup stock mm, or yeah, in your morning smoothie, yeah. right? Something like that. And then you're going to take the oil, okay. Derek, and you're going to give it a one, two, three kind of one, drizzle two. to maybe another one. Oh, look at you. Exactly. Three. Exactly. <laughs> and, so then, and then uh -huh. I'm going to massage the lemon. Could you please? I will. Thank you, Kim. I will. And then we're going to slice that. this in half. Why do you massage it? Yeah. Oh, it kind of helps soften it up a bit so the oh, juices process, come out a bit better. Okay. And for those of you who have a cook in the family and you don't know what to get for this person, those this are great. is the best. Great. It's from Pampered Chef, I think. And somebody told me Lee Valley also sells Oh, okay. It. I think Kitchen Alien down the road. Oh, actually. yeah. yeah. Kitchen Alien yeah. might have it. If you so stuff it in there. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to get you to squeeze okay. that on top. Oh, your muscles. Too, right? Squeeze. Oh, look at all the juice that comes out of it. It's massage. incredible. It was beauty. massage. And now it gets squished. Nothing to do with me. It's yeah. massaging. Nothing to do with you. There we go. There you go. Excellent. And then you're going to do a couple of of salt on top of it. Just throw some on top, there. Perfect. Perfect. I got the salt. Did you want that to grind I, up, folks? Oh, you need to throw some behind your shoulder now that we've had a salt Me incident. Too. Woo! Exactly. Salt so make sure you do this part instead of, you know, the upper part. There we go. There we go. That's, uh, that's a lot of salt. Not as much as you might want. Put your, your hands in there now. And I'm just, just going to massage the salt into that. Just massage it. It is. It is. Now, I'm going to get you, Samantha, to cut this apple up. Okay. Which in... 
we're going to dice it, so okay. we're going to add another just massage. Oh, yeah. The crew enjoyed that part of the show. Yeah. Now, the reason we're massaging giggling. the kale is so we can soften it up. Right. It, it turns to that, that baby kale consistency, because you don't always get baby kale. It can be a little kale. gritty on the it way down if you be, don't do the massaging. But you want to keep massaging there. Don't yeah. stop. It's don't stop. Well. I choked it on kale. It feels good. Did you? Yeah, yeah I choked on kale. Because you didn't massage it. I didn't massage it. And then my kale eating days were over. So, I think this is good. Yeah. This is a this is a turning point for you. Yeah. I like this. You enjoyed the green smoothie, and yes. now you're gonna enjoy a kale salad. Right. Okay, green salad. Okay, so smaller. Let's, you know what? That's fine. Okay, perfect. For our purposes today. We can today. deal with this. You knew what that meant, right? That was a mom language. That's, <laughs> That's fine. fine. We can deal yes. with this. Sweetheart. We will not let you touch That's the knife. That's all good. Yes. Okay. You see, I'm eating off the cutting board. I'm doing something. I told myself, <laughs> don't eat the cutting board. I do it's that okay. all the time. You know time. what? Let's all do it. All have some apples. Now we feel better. Feel better. No, it's good. Apple. Okay, throw the apples on. My hands are salty, not the apples. Oh, okay, good. And then you throw on some red onions or shallots. Mm. Okay. So I love red onions, shallots, and salad. Just dump the whole the thing whole on. Thing. It's so okay, good. You got it. Now, toasted walnuts. Oh, toasted. But toasted with maple syrup. Maple syrup? Maple, no, oh, I'm telling you. This is here. That, well, this is here. Yes, this is oh, here. Wow. See, we need oh, to we got to put a whole tie those on. Where put my measuring spoon here? Your mom's here. My mom. Well, you brought here. your mom along? Mom Does just, she taste now, test a lot of your stuff? Everything yeah. is tasted by my mom. Mm. mom so the approved. recipe calls for um, a quarter cup of toasted walnuts. I add the maple syrup because I'm French Canadian. Yeah. And I, I always put more than a quarter cup because I love the nut crunch. Mm. Now, yeah, the you want to mix that important. up. The texture yeah. is important. And these are so good. So yummy. So good. I've tried one yet. I, I would. That's ah! Oh, I have a kale situation. Now, I have kale now the next thing that we need to do, though, yes. before you would serve this, is you would take a piece of kale and you would taste it. Because depending on how much lemon juice came out, oh my God, you may need... Less than a minute. More maple syrup. What, what would you, how do you finish this up? What do you got here? Oh my gosh, it's my brown rice salad. Oh, we, we don't have time. We don't have time. Good Nobody yet. panic. Kim, don't panic. What are you doing the second week of January? I'll be back here doing brown rice salad. Brown rice salad. Excellent. Kim's on board, folks. <laughs> Delicious, isn't it? You Very have good. a fabulous website as well, oh, thank right? You very much, Where yes. people can find all these fabulous recipes, yes. nutritious and delicious recipes. Yes. Yeah. So and the website, the web at kimsapron.com. Love it. There you go. Excellent. I got a mug from Kim. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> My holiday uh, coffee. What, what should I be drinking, Kim? Tea. Tea. Hot water with lemon. Uh, smoothie mug. Smoothie mug. Yes. Smoothie something mug. very healthy. Thanks yes. so much for Thanks being here, Kim. Much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank we you. will see you next time. Thank Thanks. you, Sam. Oh, my pleasure.